Welcome back to Gothic Homemaking. I'm Aurelio Voltaire and today I'm very lucky to have with me my lovely fiance, Miss Mayumi Toyoda. Hello, my love. <laughs> How are you enjoying autumn in New York City so far? Amazing. I'm having a great time. What do you like most about fall in New York? Oh, I love when we walk to the park and how the leaves change color. Oh, the leaves are indeed changing color. Oh, the cruel irony of how they're becoming more and more beautiful as they shrivel and die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I have to tell you that I had the very best Halloween I've had in many, many years this time. Oh, yeah? I really, really did. So, you know, during Halloween, I'm normally traveling. I'm on, on tour, so I'm traveling from one city to the other. Mm -hmm. um, I don't do any trick-or-treating. I'm never wearing a costume because I'm always appearing somewhere as myself. Mm -hmm. um, but this year, we were actually in New York City during Halloween. Mm -hmm. We saw children trick-or-treating. I haven't seen that in years. Mm -hmm. I was blown away by how many of them were wearing traditional classic Halloween costumes. Right? Yes. Like we saw skeletons mm -hmm. and witches. Mm -hmm. SpongeBob. SpongeBob, yes, traditional Halloween costumes. <laughs> we marched in the village Halloween parade. Oh, we did that beautiful. Yeah, and I, I actually made a costume this year. I was like a pumpkin king, king of Halloween. I love it. You were a pirate queen. It was amazing. <laughs> really, and I'm so glad that you were here to share that with me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I really mean that. Me too. We miss Halloween. However, we are truly enjoying the autumn vibes here at the Lair of Voltaire. We're enjoying the brisk air, and we're enjoying cuddling up with a warm mug of my warm mulled cider. Mm, it's delicious! <laughs> you can see my recipe right here on this channel in an episode where I make this intoxicating concoction. Intoxicating? Oh, don't worry, it doesn't have alcohol. Well, yours doesn't anyway. <laughs> Yes, Ratatouille, not everybody loves rum. Uh, frankly, I think you could have used a bit more formaldehyde. <laughs> we cover a lot of Halloween home decor here on this show, and, and I mean everything from like budget Dollar Tree stuff all the way up to some rather expensive high-end Halloween items. But in the fall, we get to decorate with one of my favorite items to decorate with. It happens to be one of the cheapest, and also one of the most natural, and that is pumpkins. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this time of year, you can find a wide range of miniature pumpkins and decorative squash that you can use to really get your lair into the right mood for the autumn months. This season, we saw some really unusual and extraordinary pumpkins, and we picked up some classic pumpkins as well, so that we could carve some jack-o'-lanterns. Unfortunately, we never got around to it this season, so maybe next year. Oh no, I was looking forward to do it. I've never carved a jack-o'-lantern before. For real? Really? Seriously? Really. Never ever? Never ever. Never ever ever? Never ever <laughs> ever. Well, I have got a surprise for you. Yes, because today you're going to carve your first jack-o'-lantern ever. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> it's not that hard. I'm going to show you how to do it. It is a bit messy, though, but luckily I picked up these incredible aprons <laughs> at William sonoma last Halloween, and these will keep us nice and clean. Cool! Now, if you guys have never carved a jack-o'-lantern before, you can follow along at home. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's do it! The first step in jack-o'-lantern carving is to set the stage. Now I've been buying jack-o'-lantern carving supplies for years and have never gotten to use them, so I'm excited to finally put them to use. Are you ready to carve some jack-o'-lanterns? Yes! High five! <laughs> <laughs> Draw the face of your jack-o'-lantern onto your pumpkin with a marker. I'm going for a kind of classic, ooky spooky jack-o'-lantern face, and Mayumi well, she seems to be putting her heart into this. I'll be honest, when I saw these extra details, I thought those are gonna be really hard to cut, but Mayumi said, It will be fine, my love. The next step is to draw a circle around the top of your jack-o'-lantern, because we're gonna cut the top off so that we can get inside and empty it. The circle doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, the more irregular it is, the easier the top will fit back onto the pumpkin. You start by making a hole with one of these plastic bits that comes with the jack-o'-lantern carving sets. I opted for one of these electric knives, which went about as well as expected. Okay. 
quieren ver? Necesita pilas nuevas. Ultimately, I decided there was no alternative for a good sharp knife and some good old-fashioned elbow grease. Wow! Super! <laughs> Next, you're gonna get one of these pumpkin scoopers and a bowl to hold your guts. And you can start by removing the guts from the top of your pumpkin. Once you've done that, you really want to get in there and just start gutting these gourds. <laughs> the idea is to remove all of these seeds and all of these guts. We're not going to let these seeds go to waste. Absolutely not. They're going straight into the kitchen so that we can make some roasted pumpkin seeds. And here's a quick recipe for that. When I'm roasting pumpkin seeds, what I like to do is melt a bit of butter. If you don't want to use butter, you can absolutely use olive oil. I pour that into the seeds and then add some seasoning like salt and some pepper. But you can honestly add whatever you like. Next, you mix that all up. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees and grab yourself a baking pan. You pour the seeds onto the baking pan and smooth them out so that there's only one layer of seeds. You can do that with your hand or with a kitchen utensil. Then pop them in the oven. About 15 to 20 minutes later, you want to take them out, kind of move them around, and maybe put them back in until they're golden brown. Once they're done, just pour them into a beautiful decorative bowl and they're ready to eat. And now back to our jack-o'-lantern carving tutorial. And now that the guts are out of the pumpkins, it is time to carve our faces. Are you ready? Yes. Choose your weapon. <laughs> I got face. I'll start with this one. To carve the face of the jack-o'-lanterns, once again, you want to start by making a hole with one of these little plastic bits. I tried that electric knife again. But once again, just found it was easier with a knife. As I mentioned, I was really concerned about those intricate designs on Mayumi's pumpkin, but she was doing great. Meanwhile, I went to work sawing away at my jack-o'-lantern. And since I was making a classic jack-o'-lantern design, things went pretty much as expected. Unfortunately, while carving mine, I accidentally cut this space between the nose and the mouth. Now, I've got a little bit of a pro tip on how you can fix that and hold it together. Just get yourself a toothpick and measure it out, cut it to size, and just jam it on in there. And that will help hold the two pieces together. And you might want to do it with two toothpicks, just to be on the safe side. It is not lost on me that this is a pro tip for an amateur mistake. For the marker that's still showing on my pumpkin, I use this insect repellent. But really, anything with citric oil or citronella will do the job. If you don't have either of those, you could use acetone or nail polish remover. Are you done? Yes. Are you happy with what you've created? Yes, I love it. Are you ready to reveal your jack-o'-lantern? Yes. Your first jack-o'-lantern ever? It's my ever? first jack-o'-lantern, yes. Okay. Well, there's just one last step. Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. Photosensitivity warning, the next few seconds of this video contains flashing lights, so perhaps skip ahead. I picked up these flashing little ghosts last year at Ace Hardware. They're gonna really put these jack-o'-lanterns over the edge. Ooh. And reveal. Wow, look at them, they're so great. They're amazing. Oh, look at yours. I cannot believe I was concerned about your design. You did an absolutely spectacular job. Thank you, my love. You sure this is your first time? It's my first time ever, ever. Carved it like a pro. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
Mine looks so amateur. Oh no, <laughs> it's beautiful. I am so out of practice. I love how they came out. Yes. And you know what I love most about them? Tell me. I love how accurately <laughs> they reflect our personalities. Oh yeah. Completely by chance. Yours is really beautiful and hopeful and positive and loving. And mine's like spooky mm -hmm. and like a little bit goofy. Mm -hmm. And like my face, lopsided, asymmetrical and janky. Oh no, <laughs> your face is not janky. Sick burn. Your face is beautiful. <laughs> You know what else is beautiful? What? Watching you carve your very first jack-o'-lantern. Really? Did you have fun? Oh my god, that was super fun! I had a really, really great time too. Mm. And I hope you guys had a great time as well. And bonus point, we get to eat roasted pumpkin seeds. Wonderful! Yeah! Mm, they taste like popcorn. Uh, I think I might have used too much butter. I think you did. And that's why they taste so damn good. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time right here on Gothic Homemaking. <laughs>